Inside this box is a $100,000 Yu-Gi-Oh card collection, and I'm going to be opening it in this video. What's up, guys? We're back with an insane Yu-Gi-Oh! collection opening. This is by far the biggest Yu-Gi-Oh! collection I've opened on the channel. And awesomely, this will be available for sale to everyone watching this video. I was sent a $100,000 collection to consign from a viewer. So I'm really excited to see what's inside because I don't even know. I was just told this is worth about $100,000. It's a bunch of Starlight Rares and a bunch of other really cool stuff. So we're going to take a look at it together. Before that, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this golden Red Eyes Black black dragon that I got from Nani America. They just sent it to me. So I figured why not just give it away to you guys. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below your favorite card from this Yu-Gi-Oh collection of $100,000. I mean, how ridiculous is that all in one video? I'm super pumped. So if you guys are interested in this, it will be available on Ruxin34.com. You can email me if you don't see it there. So let's get right to it. All right. So I opened this thing up for a quick second to see what was inside. We're going to have to rotate the hand cam real quick. Okay. We've got an address on the first box. So I'm going to here it is, but we cl we covered that up so you can't see it. Uh, we've got another box. So, I mean, we've got some graded cards in here, I think. That's what that looks like. Potentially more graded cards. I mean, with 100,000, you expect some graded cards, right? I mean, pretty pretty good stuff. Yeah, that looks like the last one. That's a that's a big one, okay? And then that's it. So, a four box, three box, two boxes, no, three boxes and a giant binder is going to be 100K. Hey guys, hope you guys are enjoying the massive collection opening. I wanted to let you guys know about a new PokerRux video that I just released. It took months of Twitch streaming, and I think it turned out pretty awesome, so go check that out if you guys haven't seen it yet. If you're a PokerRux fan, you're a Pokemon Challenge fan, and you haven't checked out PokerRux before, or maybe you have and you haven't seen the video yet, go check it out. It's pretty awesome. It's an hour and a half long, so sit back, relax, it's popcorn. You guys know how that works. All right, so this is kind of like a PSA return because we have all these cards, except it's not PSA. So first we have a Thor 8.5 Ultimate Rare. So it's going to be some random stuff. There's going to be some cool stuff, you know? I don't even know. Like, it's a, a mystery $100,000 opening. So it should be pretty fun and it should be pretty long. So sit back, relax, grab your popcorn. We have a Gatling Dragon first edition. OK, that's pretty cool from Flaming Eternity. Ultimate rare right there. Uh, sit back, relax, enjoy this long video and make sure to check out these cards. If you are interested in any, they will be on Ruxin34.com, uh, especially the big ones. Some other stuff you might have to reach out. You may or may not. We'll see. Oh, whoa. OK, so I kind of just brushed past the Lady Labyrinth 9. Uh, that is a ghost rare first edition Stardust Dragon. 8.5s across the board, except for the corners, which I got a 9.5. Whoa, first ed, go Stardust. I mean, 100K uh, collection, what do I expect? But I did, oh, wow, I wasn't expecting that to pop up so fast. That's amazing. A uh, PSA 10, Dark Magician Girl Secret Pharaoh Rare. He said, he's like, yeah, there's some nice PSA card. You might like some of them. There's some random stuff. I didn't expect it to be like this kind of stuff, like this good. Here's Becky. He's got all the grading companies. Uh, okay, Rainbow Dragon. Unlimited, it looks like. What is... <laughs> There's a little something on this. So I'm going to get this off the slab. I kept getting on my finger. I was like, where is that coming from? It's from the slab. Okay, Rainbow Dragon. Why does it say E Hero Chaos Neos Error? This is not an error. This is Rainbow Dragon Unlimited. If this was an error, it would have a picture of Chaos Neos, but this has a picture of Rainbow Dragon. So BGS messed up this label because this is just Rainbow Dragon. There's no Chaos Neos involved here. It says Rainbow Dragon. It shows a Rainbow Dragon. That's how the card's supposed to go. Interesting. So we have an error there. Okay, next slab is a Rainbow Neos. Holy, this is a great collection so far. Rainbow Neos Ghost Rare PSA 9. First edition as well. I mean, just good stuff. We're, we're, I feel like we're flying through some of these amazing cards, but I, mean, I just really love the Ghost Rares. Check that out. Looks beautiful. Okay, next one's the CGC card. Okay, we got a Starlight Rare. Uh, first edition Exo Sisters Magnifica, 9.5. Doesn't have subgrades, but I don't think they do subgrades anymore, right? That's an that's an older slab uh, label, at least. Uh, Ages of Gaia, Secret Rare first ad from Strike and Neos. Pretty cool. Guardian Chimera, uh, Collector Rare. As soon as I was about to like say the name, I just started coughing. I don't know what's going on. Uh, next is a Raigeki first edition LOB 8.5. I mean, there's some amazing cards in this collection. I uh, Gate Guardian Collector Rare. We searched for forever for this. Actually, I feel like it wasn't that long compared to some of the ones we've done, but it did take a, a little bit. I think it was a couple cases, maybe three. A Harpy's Pet Dragon PSA 9. Oh, I'm in the wrong stack. I'm trying to get the, the grading companies together. PSA 9 from Forbidden Memories. Beautiful card. We have Trihorn Dragon First Edition 2017 reprint is what this looks like. PSA 10. Those are hard to grade. Those uh, 2017 cards. He has some like stickers on here. I wonder if like those are close to the value or not. High Raid the Sword Makanko. Collector Rare. Not too crazy. Harpy's Pet Dragon's really cool. I've had a PSA 10 of this before. That's a PSA 9 ulti. We have a Gravekeeper's Trap. That's a Secret Fair Rare from Mama. 
A Ghost Rare Starter. What is this grading company? UCZ. Okay, that's going to have its own stack, I think. Okay, I've never heard of this grading company. Very interesting. Very cool. Very random. I like it. So that and BGS. Okay, here's another BGS. I was about to say BGS only has one. Yadagarasu, we've recently... Wait. I had one of these. This isn't, the one... this isn't mine, is it? I don't think he bought it from me. Maybe he did. I can't remember what my grades were because I graded one and got a nine on Yada at BGS as well. BSA is what I was about to say. Okay. Uh, some people would call it BSA. Uh, we have a Destiny Hero. Wait. Is this the fake one? They graded the counterfeit one. This was back in the five, 57 millions. This is the counterfeit Dreadmaster. Just like the counterfeit uh, Flame Wingman. They don't grade those anymore, but at one point I think they were grading them. And so this is actually pretty rare to be in a slab. Dreadmaster is not usually a big culprit of being graded because it's just an ultra rare versus the Flame Wingman was an ulti. So a lot more people wanted to grade that one. Still really cool to see this in a slab though, no longer being graded because it is a counterfeit card. It's not fake, but it's counterfeit. So pretty cool to see that actually that's really awesome uh then we've got a korean ultimate rare gem mint 10 magma neos very cool a tri brigade arms bucephalus 2 that's a psa 9 starlight then there is a neo blue eyes ultimate dragon psa 10 that's a cool card i'm not gonna lie i like that card and a trishula that got a nine so there's a starlight rare there Okay, we have a Ghost Rare Dark Magician Girl. Very nice. Got a nine. This has had tens before, but they are still pretty hard to grade. So good stuff on that one. We have a Clock Tower Prison Ultimate Rare First Edition. Good stuff. I have a few PSA tens myself. You know, it's a classic card for us. Uh, Sacred Phoenix of Nephthys. Ooh, EEN Secret Rare PSA 10. That's beautiful. Here's a CGC card. We got Gladiator Beast Heraclino. Sean, we got your card. The Secret Rare, baby. Secret rare first day. Go check out Guess That Price with Sean. We talked a little bit about that card. Uh, Debris Dragon Ulti. He got a PSA 8, unfortunately. Still a really cool ultimate rare. Got a Abilinitus. Was super hyped when it came out and turned out to be a crappy Starlight, but it's still a Starlight. A crappy card. The Starlight's still pretty cool. Uh, Elemental Hero, Shining Flare, Wingman, Duel Shadow. That's a speed duel card. Not crazy. We got a 9. Uh, ultimate rare Rampart Blaster. That's a big card. 7 on the surface is pretty rough, though, so... You know, near mint-ish, 7.5, probably a little bit under that and, you know, raw standards, even though they say that would probably be near mint. This is a 9.5 gym mint, Shining Flare Wingman, just an ultra, so don't go crazy. A Genzo from BPT, Secret Rare, beautiful. A scapegoat, oh, speaking of hard ones to pull, this only got an 8. It's a brand new card, so that must be pretty rough in terms of centering and stuff. Okay, hello B first ed, PSA 9, left arm of the forbidden one. That's pretty amazing. That's a big card, big, big card. Exo Speaking of big card, oh, is he about to have a full set here? There's three more PSA cards in a row. Wait, that's a nine. Oh, no, he didn't. He did not. Wait a second. Wait a sec. Oh, <laughs> they're all nines. A full nine Exodia set. It looks like these are wavy. These three right here looks like they might be wavy. Yeah, they look pretty wavy to me. Wavy on the card stock. And then this one looks glossy. And this one looks glossy. So it's a mismatched set, but it's still nines. I mean, nine first edition PSA LOB. I mean, it's just, just really amazing. A full Exodia set. That'll probably be sold as a full set just because like if you sell like the left arm, you know, then you have four pieces. Is, you know, it'll probably just be all a PSA nine Exodia set. That's really cool, though. That's an amazing set. I'm still hoping to eventually put together Exodia and PSA 10. I have two pieces. One's the head, though. So it's a good one. But yeah, I'm getting there. We have a ultimate rare brain control, not Blaine. Not Blaine, this is not Pokemon. We have a Ghost, oh, a PSA 10. Blackluster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos from Ghost in the Past 1. Whew. Wow, this is good. And then a PSA 10. Is this from the 10, maybe quarter century secret rare? Yeah, 25th anniversary red eyes. Okay, this is CGC 10, not PSA, CGC 10, pristine. This is when they did two different ones and they changed everything. CGC, hard to keep up with. All right, there's another PSA box so, or grading card box. If that wasn't enough, I mean, that was some really good stuff. I mean, it's 100K collect. I don't know if we're actually going to get to 100K because he told me it was 100K. I didn't actually count it yet, obviously, because it's blind for me. But 
either way, like, it's a good collection. <laughs> All right, next card, we have a, another Dreadmaster. This is a Korean EOJ reprint. That's probably not crazy valuable. That's probably the cheapest card we've seen so far. Uh, Kribo, Korean, also not crazy. Maybe we picked up the big box first. Yeah, more, okay, that's, oh yeah, that's not Korean. That's a premium pack four, that's awesome. There is a Secret Rare Legendary Duel of Season. Here's some random stuff. This is kind of what I was expecting when he said random graded cards. More so than like Exodia First Ed. Okay, there's a premium pack four. So it looks like you got a premium pack four. They always have the same contents and graded them. Shiba Warrior Tarot, that's a PSA 10 Japanese copy out of Anniversary Pack. Uh, okay, didn't get so lucky on this Celtic Guardian. Uh, oh, and four on the Stardust. Ouch, that, that was something weird happened with that one. Uh, Summon Skull got an eight. It's always hard to guard these uh, anniversary... Grade, not guard. Grade these uh, anniversary cards. There's a Rush Rare. That's pretty cool, PSA 10. Another Rush Rare, Double Twin Dragon. I like Rush Duel. We need to get some Rush Duel over in uh, TCG. What do you guys think? There's a nine on the Trihorn, okay. And eight on the Blue Eyes White Dragon. We've got another nine. This is a rush duel. We got a 10 on the other one earlier. That's a nine. We have a Dark Magician Girl nine. Okay, what in the world is this? Oh my goodness. Guy of the Fear. What is this? This is cool. This is cool. 1999. I wonder if it's actually a 19. These sticker things are like ancient. Anytime I see a sticker thing from Japan, it's usually like from the 1999s or 2000s. That's pretty cool. That's, I don't know what that is, but that's cool. All right, so far I've been some random stuff. We have a Gravekeeper's Oracle, speaking of random. That's a Speed Duel Tournament Pack card, though, so those are actually have some value. Uh, we have a Ghost Rare Harpy's Feather Duster. I do have one of these. I don't have a PSA graded, though. A Prime Material Dr Speed. That is random. I don't know why that's graded. A Slive of the Sky Dragon, PSA 10. Very nice secret. We have a Blue Eyes White Dragon, PSA 10, from the... P from the I'm going to say 10 again. It's going to be confusing because I'm saying 10 and 10 the same way. Uh, PSA 9. This is original Pharaoh Servant Legendary Fisherman. That's cool. A another 9 on the reprint trier. Now I see how he got the 10. He had multiple. Uh, we have the 9 on the Blacklist of Soldier, Magnificent Maven. Wait. That's just our standard Ultra. That's weird that that was graded. A 9 from Return of the Bling. We have a 9 on Solid Dragon. A Crush Card Virus 9 from Return of the Bling. Yeah, that we definitely started with a better box. Uh, Time Wizard, Speed Little Tournament Pack 1. We have a Spell Spellbinding Circle, very cool. A Spellbinding Circle 8. These are both unlimited, so these are pretty cheap slabs that we're looking through right now. Pretty low end. Legendary Fisherman, also original print, it looks like. We have a Magic Ruler Unlimited Serpent Knight Dragon, also pretty cool. Scapegoat, this one got a 9, last one got an 8, so that's good. Here's most of it. There's one CGC card, I think. We have a Thousand Eyes Restrict, PSA 9. We have a Yugi's Legendary Dex, that is a PSA 9. A Summon Skull that got a 10 out of Anniversary Pack. That's pretty nice, Japanese. A Celtic Guardian got a 9. All right. A Millennium Rare Blue Eyes. Interesting. That got a PSA 10. That's pretty cool. A Shiba Warrior Tarot. Another 10. A lot of good cards so far. We have a Special Edition 9. Also good. A... Uh, okay. We've got a 9 on the reprint. He has a lot of those. A Dark Paladin, this is from Dual Master's Guide, got a CGC 9, first CGC card of this box. A, okay, Blue Eyes Shining Dragon, Gym Mint 10 from Movie Pack, that's pretty good. A, oh, a PSA 10 Buster Blader from Anniversary Pack, he really liked these Anniversary cards. And then there's a 10 on the Celtic, so he did eventually get that one. So that was still, had some good stuff in it, definitely lower end than the first one. But overall, a lot of graded cards, and they're pretty decent for the most part. Okay, so that third box that was not in a PSA box was more graded cards. So it's all graded except for the binders. So, okay, back to more graded cards. We have the five-headed dragon. There's a lot more graded in here than I was expecting, but it makes sense with how expensive the collection is. Red Dragon Archfiend, Ghost Rare, very cool. It's a CGC card. All right, Rainbow Dragon, HCO1 Secret. Okay, lots of cards. We have the Premium Pack, Red Eyes, Black, Meteor Dragon. A lot of foreign cards in here. Interesting. We have a DDS Dark Duel Stories, PSA 9. We have a 1000 Dragon, Unlimited, MRD. Is that EN? This is an original MRD EN. So this is like a 2004, 2005 copy. So that's pretty cool. A LOB reprint 2017. These are very hard to grade, especially the Ultra. So I got an eight. Uh, Seven Roads Enchanter. We got the Rush Duel disc. I like Rush Duel cards. Speaking of Rush Duel cards, here's Mirror Force. Very cool. We got a Cyber End Dragon Rush Duel PSA 10. Ooh, that's a fire looking card. Oh, speaking of Cyber End, 
We've got the ultimate rare from CRV Korean. Got a nine. That's beautiful. We also have a pot ultimate rare from the Japanese release. We have a 4.5 on the Draco Knight Equist Unlimited. So that must have had something seriously wrong with it. Still cool. A Chaos Ember Dragon Unlimited Original IOC. Very cool. A Wadapon Jim and 10 out of the movie pack. Pretty cool. A also a nine. So cool to see that Wadapon. It's classic. Then we have a Harpy Lady Sisters. That is an original eight. We have a Blue Eyes White Dragon. That is a Legendary Duel Season 2. Got an eight. That is pretty rough. Then a Magician of Chaos. Got an eight. Wow. Getting killed on these. Got an eight. We got a Dark Magician Girl. We got a Jim Mint 10 TP7 Ultra DD Warrior. That's actually really nice. DD Warrior Ultra is a, one of the cheaper T, uh, TP Ultras, but still a Jim Mint 10 is really nice. Very good three on the Labyrinth of Nightmare first edition Torrential Tribute. Still pretty cool. Uh, PSA 10 Dark Magician Girl from the 10 with a 9.5 on the Chaos Creator. That's an unlimited. Oh, wow. This is pretty big. Wing Dragon a Rock Ghost Rare 9.5. So there are only like five of these in PSA 10. So this is not a PSA 10, but still a 9.5 on this card is still really nice. And it's not going to command the PSA 10 price, but still better than a PSA 9 probably. That's still really good. Then there is a obelisk that is Japanese and has a lot of words. Okay, we have a first edition Thousand Dragon, got a PSA 8. A first edition Red Eyes Black Dragon from SDJ, PSA 9, pretty good. Oh man, we got a Ghost Rare Honest Unlimited PSA 9. Man, there's some fire in here. We got a Ghost Rare. This was a PSA 10. I'd go crazy. That's an eight. And then here we go. Okay, speaking, here's the error. The Rainbow Dragon error. BGS thought they had one before. This is actually an error. This is the Ghost Rare Fusion version. It's an 8.5 from SGC, which SGC actually does grade a lot of cards, though I've never used them. So 8.5. That's a big card to end on for the graded cards, but we have not seen the binder, which I think still has a lot of fire. This binder is insane. This is stupid. The binder is huge. All right, I've pulled every card out of this massive binder. I mean, just look how big it is. And because like there's so many awesome cards, I wanted you guys to at least be able to see these up close and personal because we're talking about a 100K collection potentially. So let's go through it. So, I mean, not everything's going to be crazy. Like we have a first Ed Dark Elf rare from MRD, so nothing too crazy, but I they're kind of ordered kind of how they were so buster blader yap we're just looking at some crazy stuff this is kind of the random stuff at the sort of the end of the binder i'm going backwards so we're going to end with the great stuff uh excel synchrons i mean these are money cards out of maze uh we've got some dark magician like the classic uh logo from my channel you know dual terminal trishula is not crazy because i think that's the reprint one some japanese cards we've got a tp6 fusion sage left arm with forbidden one 25th anniversary we got barons from maze i believe uh, this stuff is not insane. I mean, it's just like nice little cards. You know, it's like Magnum HUD. We've got, uh, which was a $20 super at one point. Druid Swarms are now pretty decent. We got First Egg Garnesia Elephantis is not bad. Uh, Harpy Lady Sisters, you know, this is pretty nice stuff. Twin Ed Thunder Dragon, Mystical Elf. Mystical Elf First Ed from LOB, not not bad. We have Celtic Guardian First Ed from LOB. Karibo First Ed from Metal Raiders. We have a, here we go, CP Metamorphosis, just randomly in there. It's just a, one of the random cards. It didn't really fit with anything else, but CP01 Super, that's huge money right there. We got Raigeki First Ed, got Raigeki First Ed. I mean, that's just some random stuff that we have there. Then we have a small stack of, uh, not just Secret Pharaoh, but uh, no, I know this is a uh, dual terminal, but they get to the Secret Pharaoh rares right here. We have the Black, uh, uh, Luster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos, Secret Pharaoh Rare. Two of those. We got a true name. We got the Seal of Ward Calcos. One I've never actually seen in person. So pretty cool to see this in the Secret Pharaoh Rare. We have the Necro Valley as well. Slifer, that's the Ultra, I think. Ultra Pharaoh Rare. Same thing with the Winged Dragon. Then a bunch of Secret Pharaoh Winged Dragon Raws. Didn't get an Obelisk, so I guess he opened a bunch of this. Didn't actually pull one. Just kept pulling Winged Dragon a Raw, it seems like. Then we have a giant stack of Collector Rares right here. So Mortal Phoenix Gear Freed, Conco, Runic Fountains. We got a couple of those. We got a couple of Runic Tips. Uh, the Venomanaga, Ogdoadic, we have Vanquished. It's amazing how there aren't that many like very expensive collector rares. It's like, it's kind of a weird rarity where nothing is like too crazy, but there's some decently valued ones. Like, you know, Baron got reprinted immediately. The Excel Synchron's probably pretty decent. Like there's two Baron, but you know, got the reprint in rarity collection. So it's not like crazy expensive. Hey, look, our friend, the Hydrant, who is a, a short printed super rare in a recent set, pretty weird. Cosmos Cyclone. Detective Dragonflies, e -tellies. like all this is all nice stuff, you know, probably like $50 cards, stuff we're looking at. Some will be higher, some will be a little lower, but uh, overall pretty decent, but not like, I mean, compared to this collection, it's just kind of, you know, some of the run of the mill stuff. But I mean, Toon Chaos, Cypher, Mirror Gamma, Toon Blacklister Soldier, Blacklister Soldier, that's all really big. 
So those are probably the biggest ones in there, but there's a lot to go. We're not even close to done. In this stack, we have a lot of 25th anniversary stuff. So it looked like he opened some 25th anniversary boxes or booster packs, you know, got a bunch of the nice stuff like Black Cluster Soul or Black Black Skull Dragon, different card. Dimension uh, Fusion, I think there's another one here somewhere, Red Eyes. We got Summon Skull, we got Castle Number Dragon, Trihorn, a bunch of Gaias. Some of this is like sort of in order, some of it's not. See, like here's a bunch of Serpent Knight Dragons that I made sure were in order, but there are some that are not. Here is some other stuff, you know, just some random. There's a bunch of Dispaters, which are a very expensive ultra rare, by the way. There's a bunch of them. Uh, Wake Up Your Elemental Hero, a bunch of Cash Tier of Fenrirs. There are more where that came from right here. Let me just show you guys. There are a bunch of Cash Tier of Fenrirs. Uh, probably like six play sets or something. I don't know how many it was, but it was a bunch. Gotta make sure these all stay together. We got Barrel Dragon. We got Blackwing Boar the Spear, Premature Burial, Dark Magician Girl, Dark Magician of Chaos. You know, Dark Magicians from Battles of Chaos. There's four of those. There's a, a couple Absolute Zeros. By a couple, I mean a play set. Blue Eyes White Dragon. SDK, not first eds, unfortunately. That'd be pretty nice. That would fit in this collection pretty well. We got uh, Blackwing Dragon, first ed Syn Synchro. Ultra, ooh, the Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card. That's pretty awesome. Not ulti, but still pretty good. Uh, Exodia, wow, Exodia Necros, first ed. I didn't see that when I was going through. Uh, an Exodia, the Forbidden one, first ed. It's pretty beat up, but it is a, still an Exodia Ultra Rare first ed, which is pretty amazing. Seven tools, you know, we got pieces of Exodia, LOB, Gaia, Summon Skull, first ed. I mean, wow, a lot of great stuff. Whew, okay, uh, Dark Magician Knight. I mean, there's just even more stuff. I'm just gonna keep going. This is all sort of random, you know, secret rares, stuff like that. We got Cyber Dark Impact from Tactical Evolution, not from Cyber Dark Impact. More Dark Sage, or not more, though. It looks very similar to the Dark Magician Knight or whatever. Blue Eyes, Dark Magician Girl. Oh, that can go there with that one. We got the Guardian Chimeras, Three Chaos Ember Dragon, uh, the prize card reprint thing. We have the uh, Revolution. We have Forbidden Droplet, which those come from the same set as 10k dragon foreshadowing for later in the collection there's a starlight that you get from the ocg pretty amazing i pulled one of those myself we have recurring nightmare we have blue eyes jet dragon i thought there was multiple jet dragon maybe that's later we have illusion of chaos a bunch of those a bunch of sprite sprint like a ton of sprite sprint i don't know why but a bunch of blazing Gartesias as well yeah, a bunch of those. So a bunch of those two secret rares randomly. This is a longer collection video, but I figure we should go through every card when it comes to a collection like this. Uh, Azaleas, Arsenal Zeus. We got a couple of those. We got the Chimera, Titanic Lad. I mean, just everything you could even ask for in, re in like somewhat recent sets. A lot of Pot of Prosperities, which were probably worth quite a bit more for a rarity collection. Uh, we got Red Eyes. I don't know when he got them before or after, but Pressured Planet. Dark Corridor, Castira Theosis. We got the Crimson Dragon. That's not all the Crimson Dragons. There were a bunch of those. We've got Lulu Walalith, which that was a huge card when it first came out. Another Zeus. So there are three of those. A several Assault Synchrons, Revolution Synchrons, Dark Paladin, Armatile, First Ed, by the way, which is a lot and a huge difference when it comes to this card because of the uh, First Ed packs being hard to come by. Uh, Chaos Neos, Red Eyes, Black Dragon. That's pretty nice. Chaos Emperor Dragon, a bunch of Chaos Angels, which we know are very expensive. Dark Magician Girl, we've got the right arm. Not a full Exodia set, but a bunch of Exodia pieces. There's the other Dimension Fusion I was looking for earlier. Spellbinding, so a couple blue eyes from 25th anniversary, Exodia. So we got Exodia 25th, and we got Exodia First Dead as well. Okay, and then we have Stardust Dragon. We have Red Eyes Black Dragon. These are like the promos, so nothing too amazing here. I'm going to go through pretty quick on these because, you know, we've seen a lot of these. Then we get to the Quarter Centuries, which these are uh, pretty hard to read, but they are a lot you know, more hard to come by than the quarter century promos, obviously. So I, I have no idea. Unchained Souls. Some of these are super hard to read. Uh, that's a pretty cool card. Is that a Chimera? The King of Phantasm Beasts or something? I can't read it. Crimson Dragon. There's Revolution Synchron. And got a couple of these Magician Bonds in Unity. And that's not all of them. There are more. These are all the Dune copies. So we have four of those. Four Magician Bonds in Unity. Bunch of other stuff like Armneos. There is... Danger Nessie, the Dark Magician that we never pulled. Dark Magician, the Dragon Knight of Dragon Magic or whatever it's called. It's very redundant, but yeah, the Super Poly. Uh, man, these just do not look the same as Starlight. Starlight's look way better, and we will be able to see that very soon in this collection. The Zeus's look pretty good. One, two, three, four, five IP Mascarena, a couple Lubellion. So yeah, a lot of really nice quarter centuries right there. Now we're delving into the ultimate rares, which we have, uh, I feel like that's not in the right spot. The Jester Despia. I think there's a lot more of those. We have the Stardust Dragon Unlimited. Dark Arm Dragon from Turbo Pack 6. So yeah, pretty nice. We've got the Chaos Emperor Dragon. We've got Drill Warrior for Edison format. 
We have uh, Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragons. Get those in there. Moon Dragon Quilla. Super Ancient Dino Beast. I mean, just a million amazing things. Like, everything is good. Clearwing Synchro, Star Eater, Classic. Some Xyz Ultimate Rares. The Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon looks particularly nice and ulti, I think. We have the oh, Galaxy Eyes Photon. I can go with the other one. We have Feather Shot. We have Earthbound Immortals. We have Gene Warped Warwolf. I mean, just a lot of stuff. And don't worry, we got quite a few ultis left. Uh, we are we're still working through them. There are a lot of ultis. We have Ancient Gear Beast. We have the Super Ancient Deep Sea Colacanth, whatever he's called. Uh, Proto Cyber Dragon. Unfortunately, no Cyber Dragon here. I'll spoil you guys. Uh, that would be pretty crazy if there was. We have Gabe Oha. We have Plague Spreader Zombies, a pretty good one. Night Beam. Exploder Dragon Wing. I mean, wow. We are talking a Queen's Knight, King's Knight, Jack's Knight, all that stuff. The uh, Majestic Red Dragon ulti. We have the Odd Eyes Pendulum. We got Dark Raccoon. It sees a playset. Necros, Lightning Storm. We have Doom Dozers, a full play set of those. Those were pretty expensive for a while. And still more ultis. We have e -tellies. We have Mystic Swordsman, Necro Garden, El Shadal Construct, Sacred Phoenix. I mean, a massive, just this ulti collection by itself would be an amazing collection. And that's just a small part of this collection. Pearlies, the Eevee, swap that around. Get those more organized. Scapegoat, we have the Licoris. We have the Rays. Scapegoat again. We have uh, another cast here of Fenrir to go with those 17 other ones. Chaos Emperor Dragon, Livestream Dragon. A um, bu bunch of triple tactics talents. That's four of those. There's Galaxy Eyes Photon again. That's like the fourth one. DD Crow. We got a couple of Phoenix. We got a couple. There's the Alubers. Okay. We grab this one from earlier. Put that there. A bunch of Alubers. Drill and Lockbird. Bunch of Fallen of Albaz. More cash. Oh, there's the Fenrir. There are more ultis, actually. Evil Zorlagia. We have a Arm Dragon. You guys see why? There, this was a lot of cards, so I couldn't. It was really hard to show these if they were not in the uh, if they were in the binder still. So that's why I pulled them all out so you guys could see better. And even then, there's still a lot to see. And no, we are not done. We've got Ghost Rare still. The, the only Japanese Ghost Rare we have. Uh, the only one in this collection. I mean, we have Utopia Ray. We have Amaterasu. We have number 17 Leviathan Dragon. We have Malakota, the Eye of Tamias. We got Dark Rebell Rebellion Disease Dragon. A couple Rainbow Neos. We have Dark Magician Girl. There are more of those. Number 92, we have number 101, Cyber Dragon. Bunch of different Solemn Judgments. We've got uh, more Gold Series or Haunted Mine ones. We've got the Deltaros, which I still need for my binder, I think. We have a bunch of 101s. i got to crick my neck because we've seen so many cards. we got a bunch of Ghosts from the Past Souls. We've got Shark Drake, Vice. we got Utopia Rays, number 92s. We got Odin, we've got Red Dragon Archfiend, more Ghosts from the Past 2. We got a couple Draco Aquist. We have Winged Dragon of Ross Fear Mode. You can kind of see which ones have the better uh, shine to them as we go through. More Dark Arm Dragons, Red Eyes Black Dragons, Cyber Dra So there are Cyber Dragons here, and this is not the ulti. Number 17, Leviathan Dragons. I think we have a few of those now. Majestic Star, we have number 101. This is a, an amazing looking one, looks great. Uh, Photon Dragon, Crystal Wing, Majestic Red Dragon. That's not all. D just don't hold your breath. There's more. Well, I guess do hold your breath. It's coming up. We have Dark Rebellion Exceeds Dragon, Star Eater, Star Eater, Black Lizard Soldier. We have Scarlight Red Dragon Archfiend, Clear Wing Synchro Dragons. We have Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragons. A lot of those. Wow, it's a lot of those. Red uh, Dragon Archfiend Assault Mode, First Eds. Okay, Red Eyes Flare Metal, a couple of those. The Galaxy has photons. We got blue eyes, white dragons. We got dark magician girls. There we go. We got to grab the other one. One, two, three, four, five of those. We have ancient fairy dragon unlimited. We have first edge shooter. We have the unlimited stardust. We have two of those. We have a red dragon, not a red dragon, a rainbow dragon first edition and an unlimited and a first edition. We have dark magician. One, two, three of those. Oh, never mind. We do have one more OCG. The black Lo black rose dragon. I keep wanting to say black luster soldier for everything. There's a first ed and there's an uh, oh two first ed black luster. <laughs> Ah, I keep saying it. Black Rose Dragon. Two of those and then a uh, first, not first edition, just a Japanese one. Wow, there are a lot of nice cards and I cannot say the right name. Okay, we're on to the last bit of the collection and this part just gets absolutely crazy. So sit back and enjoy it. Look, oh look, Starlight, you can actually read the name. It's beautiful. We have some Starlight Rares. And by some, I mean a lot of Starlight Rares. I think this might be like 100 Starlight Rares. Pot of Prosperity, Chamber Dragon Maid. We've got the Utopia, which is getting a reprint and ultra rare for some reason. Uh, Borlo Savage Dragon, Tier Laments. We have Pertuia. We have Grand Radiance. We have a, more Astral Leviathans. We have uh, some low end, lower end ones. Mitsu, you know, not crazy. Asa, Gold Pride Chariot, Phantom Knight. See, look, they just look way better than Quarter Centuries. They just do. Easier to read. Shiny fits better. We have the Singularities. We have the Trevor Gade Baron Blossom. We have Blue Wing, not Blue, Black Wing Dragon, Yada. We have 
Teresia, a bunch of Teresias, Iris, Iris, Martha. So yeah, pretty good stuff in there. It's not it yet. It's not it yet. We have Ultimate Slayer. We got three Luas yet. I think that's what I was thinking of earlier. Gorgon, we have the Arise. We have Live Twin, Magnificas, a bunch of Magnificas, Trouble Sunnies. I knew you were Trouble Sunny when I walked in. We have Regulus. We have three Illusion of Chaos. We have Swords... Swole Grandmaster Chi Chow, Star Dragon, Super Poly, a bunch of Dark Magicians, Red Eyes, Dark Dragoon. We got Rose. Wow, that's enough to just go crazy, right? Well, there's more. Here's the last stack of Starlights. It's about to get insane. We have Ghost Bell, Lady Labyrinth. We got a Ruha. Exodia's get excited. Exodia, 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 Exodia. Left arm, left arm, left arm, left arm, left arm, left arm, right arm, right arm, left leg, left leg, left leg, left leg, right leg, right leg, right leg. A lot of Exodia right there. A lot. Blazing Cartesia, Incredible Ecclesia the Virtuous. We have Dark the Dark Charmer, Gloomy. Mirror Jade, Mirror Jade, Access Code, Divine Arsenal Zeus, Black Rose Dragon, Black Rose, Air the Gentle Charmer, Drimple Water. <laughs> what did I just say? Water Charmer, Gentle, Stardust Dragon, IP Mascarena. No, not the quarter. We have five qu or quarter century. And then we have the Starlight, Opelosa, 10K Dragon, and 10K Dragon. Wow. Talk about an absolutely insane collection that, guess what, is all up for sale. Okay, guys, after going through all this, or trying to go through all of it, I haven't actually priced everything yet. I decided putting everything on the website is going to take forever, so I figured we'll do that gradually because I wanted to get everything rolling uh, and get stuff selling. So if you guys are interested in anything you see in this video, please send me an email. Instagram, it, yeah, you can contact me there, but I'm probably going to forget. So let's. I'm just being honest. Email is the best place because I can put it in a specific folder. I can know to come back and check. Instagram, it just gets lost in the shuffle. I can't find the messages after a while. Just send me an email, rodneyruxon34 at gmail.com if you're interested in any of this stuff. If from small to big, just hit me up. There's a lot of big cards in here. And we want to get the ball rolling with everything because my website's going to have some of it eventually. But let's just start off with emails and everything and then I can put what's left onto my website because there's a lot more cards than I really thought initially. I thought there was going to be like 500, 1,000. I think there might be 2,000 in here. There's a lot. So thank you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Puffin Zadoom, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutster, Another Tai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Changelang, and Adelso Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.